Hello and welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic for today's second video. So um, my strange clothing is because I've been playing cricket today for the first time in about 10 years. Classic English activity. Uh, there was a dads v lads match to end the season at my son's uh, under 12 cricket club and uh, yeah, it was a great day actually. We uh, The whole thing somehow ended in a tie mysteriously even after a super over which was caused by my son running out my daughter with a direct hit from the boundary. Astonishing finish to the first game. Anyway, enough of that. You don't want to hear about that. Um, what you want to do is look at this Sudoku from Danny Demirsaman, who has who wrote to us, he said something like, Hi Simon, I hope you want to try my Sudoku. Um, well, Simon's letting me have a go at it. It's an anti-night sandwich Sudoku. Um, and I'm wondering, I haven't seen this as a combination before, I don't think. Certainly not for a while. And I'm wondering how they will act together. Um, whether they'll affect the ones and nines particularly, I was pondering. Anyway, we shall see. Do have a go on the puzzle, at the puzzle, on the link below the video. Um, but I'm going to try it now. Oh, I should just say, I think... Um, Either one or both of ourselves of the puzzles we posted on the community page about a week ago will be going up on the Patreon for Patreons um, soon. So do look out for that. Anyway, back to this Night Sandwich Sudoku by Danny Demirsaman, and um, I'm also posting the link to his uh, Tectonic Puzzle EU website below as well, where I think he makes a number of puzzles. So Let's get cracking. We've got a one in a row with a three. Okay, so let's do some colouring of cells that cannot be ones and nines. When three is the sandwich, it's got to be a single three because we've already used the one in the row. One and nine are the digits, obviously, that form the sandwich. So the single digit between them must be a three. Nine is either here or here. Um, 18 needs at least three cells, so these can all go green. We've definitely got a nine in one of those two, therefore, to bound that sandwich. Um, ah, 28 is a big number, so the anything over 26 is the rule of thumb. You can colour the central three cells green, because there must be a five-cell sandwich, and whether it's here at least five cell sandwich. So whether it's here or here, which are the extremes, these three are green. Same goes for 27, and that's really useful. That's made a decision both on where the three goes in row six, and where the other one or nine goes in the central box. So we can just fill in those two nines straight away. Um, now, 13 means that those two cells will be green, 13 must be at least two digits in a sandwich. 17 is at least three. Okay, eight, seven, and then maybe two. So one is in one end or the other. Ah, and the 28 clue needs to have one of one or nine here and one here. So we know that this is, we, we know both in box four, if one of one or nine is here and the other is here, this is green. And in box six, if only one of one or nine can be here, this must be one or nine, so that's one. Now, by the knight's rule, let's not forget that. We know that this can't be the one. Um, oh, we know that this can't be the one as well. Oh, we've got the same thing going on down here. We can only have one of one or nine in the 27 column down here. So this cell must now be a 1. These are green. 1 appears somewhere up here, but we don't know where. 9. Ah, oh, look at that. Yes, we can actually place the 9 here. Um, 9 there and 9 there means there's a 9 here. It can't be here because of the 3 clue, and it can't be here because of the knight's move. So we can put a 9 in there. Might as well green these cells. We've got a three clue in the end column, so again, we can color in most of the cells in the column. A 13 clue, I think, yeah, 13 is either two or three sandwich digits. 
Now, oh, and this is an, an eight clue, so I can green those cells. But the one could be, well, it can't be here, obviously. If once a nine and one can see a cell, it must be green. Could be here, quite likely to be here. Well, I don't know, actually, no. I'm not going to rule on likelihood. Let's actually get some digits. Seven in the bottom row, so that's green. This is green, it can't reach out there. Um, ah, now it's the same sort of thing here in row seven. Where are the bounds of this 23 going to be? One of them has to be here. So one of those is a one or a nine. Actually, I don't know which one. Sorry, I thought that was going to help me, but oops. One of those is a one. Does it help? Yes, look, in the 21 column here, one of these must be one or nine. These must be part of the sandwich. You couldn't fit one and nine and a 21 either above or below. The same is true in the 18 column. Even here, they couldn't bound a one or nine. So there's one here and one here. And this cannot be one or nine, because that's already two for the box. So, one is in one of those two cells. Ah, no, we don't know. The six clue could be nine and one over here, I think. Now, what have I not been using? The night constraint, look at that. Nine is looking straight at that cell. So, we can put the nine in after all in box eight. Now, the six could leave a one in either of those positions, but I can green a couple of things. Now, this must be either one or nine, but I don't know which one, because there's only one of them in there. Now, reaching across the box, this cannot be a one or nine. And that must be, because 23 plus the one and nine making 10 is 33. There must still be 12 outside, or outies, and they must be here in two cells. Uh, so, unbelievable. so we've got a one or nine there. That 25 clue means that's green. That must be the one. It's the last white cell possible. Nine there, one there. We get a one here, eight there, green there. Okay, now let's not forget the knight's move again. Actually, we could have just done this by regular Sudoku. That's the nine, green there. Nine, oops, not black, what am I doing? I'll do that, right, nine there. Um, this is green because the nine and one are placed in the column. 25 is the clue in row three, so those are green. And again, it's the same as with that 23 clue. You've got to have 10 outies, so that's two cells. They must be there. We can place the one. These are green. Now, 10 and 19. I'm sure this is simple now, but I can't quite see. That 27 could be either... Oh, am I missing some sort of... Um, Night smooth thing, I'm sure I am. Well, maybe not. I don't know how to resolve these. One of these is... Ah, uh, no, no. One and nine can't be in the same row in this box, so it's either like that, in which case it would be there and there for the other one and nine, or it's like that. That's not going to work. This cannot be green because how could you get a 10 sum, which is either two or three? So, sorry, this cannot be the one. So that's green. Let's take the one out of the corner there. We can, oh, it's not working. For it's not in the cell, there we go. One is here. And this is not nine, this must be nine. That is nothing now. Nine is here, one is here. That's all the one and nines placed, and I don't think we have broken any night's move rules. So, let's move to the simple sandwiches. So, single digit there, three. 
Um, oh, there's not many. We've done that eight. Up from the bottom. Ah, oh, seven there and six there. That's a nice pair. There, the outies add up to 12. Can't do them yet. Three. Here, they add up to 10. And here, they add up to 10, the innies this time. Doesn't mean they have to be the same as those, although there's a good chance. Okay, how do we make a bit more progress? Most of these other sum ah, 21 has outies of 8 and 6. 21 plus the 1 and 9 is 31, you need another 14. And when it's only two cells, that's 8 and 6. So one of these is an 8. Uh, 6 is in one of these two cells because it's down in one of these. I haven't really got enough digits to do much night move stuff yet. Now all the 1s and 9s are placed. 3 in the middle box is in one of those two. Um, maybe I'm missing something very glaring about the shape of the grid. These have to add up to 16, those outies. Oh, these are 10, and now they're not 8, 2, or 6, 4 because of that placing. So they're 3 and 7. So 2, 4, 5, a little batch up here. Um, these ones add up to 12. I don't think I can make progress on that. 6, 8, 1, 3, 9. I don't see what else I've got here. This is quite interesting now. Ah, oh, these two add up to 8. But they could be 2, 6, or 3, 5. So that's not very useful. Although up here, these two add up to 10. So now that's 8, 7, or 4, we can forget the 5 option up there. 19, no, I do not know how to make that up. 70 in here, that's quite a big number. Oh, look at that, there's an outie here in a 25 sum. The outies must add to 10, so that's a 4. Um, So, oh, look at three in this column now. Three is ruled out of all those cells and that one by the knight's move. So three goes in here. Does that read across? It does actually, because there's a three in one of those cells and a three there. So the three in row one must be in this box and we can actually sort out those two sums, which is very nice. And that's fixed this not to be a three. So three goes in there. One of these is 3 in a 13 sum, which can't be 373. It could be 364 or 382. Um, yeah, I don't know about... Oh, well, this is stopping either of those cells from being 6. If it was 346, it would have to go 6, 4, 3. But it could be 328. This can't be a 3, actually, because it's seeing two different 3s by night's move. So that is where the 3 goes. Maybe that is helpful. Um, not as much as I'd hoped in this box. Still some spaces for 3. Um, ah, 6. Yes, we now know 6 must be up here in box 8. Um, in one of those cells. So that's not a 6, and this one is. Uh, let's put in a proper 6. There we go. 6, 9, 1. 7, 5. These can be from 2, 3, and 8. And this one can't be a 3, because we've got a 3 there. In fact, do we know which of those is a 3? No, not necessarily. Actually, we now know this sum can't be 238 because of what we've just put in there. It's a 13 sum. But it could still be 247 or 256 or 346. 7315. 4? That's not. I can't see how that's limited. Ah, oh, looking along here now. 17 is the sum in here. Plus. 
those two is 27, plus those two is 38. These two add up to 7, and they can't be 3, 4. They must be 2, 5. So that's not a 6. One, nine, three. We've got 4, 7, and 6 to place in these cells. This one can't be a 6, because there's a 6, 8 pair up here. 2, 8, 5, 3, 9, 1. So this is 4, 7, 6 as a sandwich. So that's 7, because it's seeing 6 and 4. That's a 4, 6 pair. Don't know how they work yet. 2, 8, and 5 to place in the column. Ah, oh, yes, the outies here have to add up to 7, and we've already got the 3. Right, that was much easier. Sorry if you've been shouting at that. Let's use this 7 on the knight's move to make that a 3. This is now an 8, 7 pair. We know how they go. Um, don't still know about the 2, 5. 6, 8, 1, 7, 3, 9. These are from 2, 4, and 5, along with that. 6, 9, 3, 1. Ah, oh, 7 in this row is down to one possible cell, which is there. Three, nine. One, seven, eight, six, nine, three is here. That's part of this 2, 4, 5 group, which is causing such a mystery over on the left to me. 6, 8, 2, 4. Oh, no, they're not very December. Ah, oh, this 13 sum. Oh, uh, yeah, we worked out a while ago. This is either 6, 4, and 2, 8, or 2, 8. I still don't know how that goes. What about this 13 sum again? It's got a 4 or a 6 in it. That's not the most helpful. Digits 4, 7, 2. No, there can't be a 7 in it. None of these cells can be a 7, taking the knight's move into account. Now that's interesting. It can't be 832 either with a 46 in it. So it's got to be 346. And the 3, oh hang on, none of these can be 3. What has gone wrong there? Okay, I ruled out. If it was a 4, we were looking at another 9. So. 3 and 6. That's not possible because the knight's moves prevent it with 6. Ah, oh, 4, 2, 7. Yes, I've ruled out 7. 6, 4, 3. But 3 is a problem now. What on earth has happened here? What am I doing wrong? Six. Five, two, eight, four. How about this 13? That also can't be six, four because of the sixes here and here. Um, but it also, it must be two, eight. If it's right, one, three, two, eight, nine, seven. We get a four, five, six up here. Four, five, and six. Um, that can't be four. So four is in one of those two cells. So that can't be four, whichever one it's in. Four must be in one of those two. Three is in one of those, and it can't be in that one because of that three. Right, I can place the three there. Actually, I could have done that a while ago. Right, three, two, seven, eight, five up here. This one can't be seven. Not going to look at this 13 sum for a while. Hopefully that'll sort itself out in some way that I'm not understanding. Right, 18 plus 9 in this is 28, plus that is 35. These have to add up to 10. They've got to be 4 and 6. They can't be 2 and 8. So we can fill that in. 4, 6. That's now a 2, 8 pair. 
that's not two, and those aren't eight, so eight's in this cell. That's not four, so that is. That all seems to be working quite nicely. Ah, oh, that four means that can't be a four, so the four in column two's there. Those sixes mean that can't be a six. Um, let's just keep going. I'm still trying to ignore that 13 sound, which isn't working for me at the moment. 31795. 647. We've got 2, 8, and 5 to place in this column. Here, though, 2, 4, 6, and 8. Oh, 4 there means that's not a 4. So we can place 4 in the central box there. Now we get a 6 here. 652. I do not remember either saying that sum or ruling it out. So I think I've just been an idiot in not considering it as a possibility, and that is rescuing the puzzle. Four there, seven here. I think we're finishing now. I do not think I've been particularly good at this, but anyway, getting it done. So five and six up here, four, seven, eight here. That can't be seven, that can't be seven by the rules. Eight and four can be placed. Six and eight there. Four in box two must be here. Six is in one of those two cells. Now let's do a bit more sandwich Sudoku, surely. Oh, maybe we've done it all at this point. <laughs> it's just night Sudoku from here on in. Right, that two is fixing the rest of the row. Fixes box eight. Six and two can be placed. That can't be a 2 or an 8. Yes, that's easy. 5 there, 2 and 8 up here, and either using Knight's Move or regular Sudoku, that's straightforward, thank goodness. 2 and 5 here, 2 and 5 here, 5 and 6 to go up here, and I think that's all worked, and that sum did work in the end. For some reason I couldn't think of 2, 5, 6 as a possibility. Let's hit the check button, looks good to me. Excellent. So there we go. That is a nice puzzle, Danny. I mean, I don't think I hit that well. I, had, I think I had a good start with ones and nines and then really struggled with the numbers for some reason. But that's really neat. I um, hope you enjoyed that. I hope uh, it was re relatively straightforward for you. And uh, have a good week. Hope to see you again soon on Cracking the Cryptic. Bye for now.